Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Token Post interview. Today we have Mr. Vladimir Schmidt, uh, co-founder and CEO of Alta State. Could you give a brief introduction about yourself and your platform to our viewers? Yeah, sure. Hi, guys. My name is Vlad Schmidt. Uh, I'm from Israel. So I am CEO and co-founder of Alt.Stay. It's a tokenization protocol and crowdfunding platform for fractional ownership of tokenized property. So, Vlad, how did you get into the crypto business? Actually, I started trading cryptocurrency back in uh, 2015, uh, and uh, uh, there was a good period for trading that time. So uh, I did some uh, good profit, and I decided how uh, how could I diversify my portfolio because, uh, as you know, the crypto market is very volatile. So uh, I and my par partners came up with the idea of uh, making a crowdfunding platform for fractional ownership and the tokenization protocol. Uh, so uh, we uh, designed the conception of the platform uh, and uh, eight years, eight months ago, we started developing the product because uh, uh, we bring very strong expertise from the entrepreneurial side. Uh, I, I'm 32. Uh, I know that uh, I look a little bit young, <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to fix it. That's what I am not shaved so properly. <laughs> So uh, anyway, uh, 10 years, almost 10 years, I've been developing uh, and building IT companies. Mm -hmm. I've built uh, the social discovery company, which was sold to the strategic buyer for, and the deal was estimated by 30 million US dollars. So my background is more entrepreneurial. I've got partners who are very strong in real estate and uh, sold uh, real estate on the amount of 40, 400 million US dollars. Also, we've got a very strong financial side, legal side, and we came up with this idea of creating the tokenization protocol. Like ERC20 for crypto market, we are building uh, a tokenization protocol for real estate market. So, is it okay if I ask how much you invested at the first time and how much are you earned? Uh, the first part is for sure okay. The second part, uh, we, we are going to disclose the number after we will close our limited per sale, which is going right now. Uh, and uh, for now, uh, we've, we've funded uh, more than half a million uh, US dollars uh, into developing. Uh, we've got seed investor uh, who is supporting us in it. Uh, regarding our limited pre-sale, uh, actually we uh, launched our uh, prototype. We've tokenized apartments in the USA, uh, uh, European Union and uh, Japan, uh, in New York, Tokyo and Bulgaria. And uh, we have a big amount of early adopters on the platform. Uh, we have about 7,000 7, uh, users in our Telegram channel. And we decided to introduce them our MVP for they could test it and give us their feedback and launch limited per sale uh, in amount of 1 million US dollars to, to close our soft cap. So 95% is already uh, raised. Uh, and we are moving towards uh, the main event, the token sale, which will probably start at the end of the May. End of May. Yeah. So, Vlad, could you tell us how your platform is different from contemporary real estate related platforms? Sure. Uh, so, we are uh, very much uh, focused on uh, the crowdfunding uh, business model of fractional ownership and bringing here the blockchain technology because it gives uh, several very strong advantages. We drastically decrease the entry ticket for investors, for middle class investors who could buy the token, the property. The tokens of the property. Also, we increase the transactional, we decrease, decrease the transactional cost from about 30% to 3% and uh, the transactional time is also dramatically decreasing. So uh, again, blockchain brings us the whole new, uh, up, the whole new way of uh, changing the industry of real estate market. and. Uh, uh, as I told that we have very strong partners from the international brokerage companies uh, who are very much interested in having this new instrument of uh, expanding their distribution channels. So cryptocurrency is famous for its volatility, which means price fluctuation. How will your platform hedge against, protect against the price volatility of cryptocurrencies? Yeah, thank you very much for this question because it's, it's actually the, one of the main aim of the platform for several segments of our customers. Uh, we have uh, 
property tokens for each property which be tokenized on the platform. So every property is downside protected, uh, every token is downside protected by the value of the property. Actually, yesterday uh, in Hong Kong at the meeting, uh, uh, there were guys from Circle, you know, Circle Company, and they, uh, they made very interesting analogy. So they said uh, that you kind of like USDT, but for real estate. I said, uh, we kind of like USDT, but uh, our token has our every property is backed by the every token is backed by the real property, mm -hmm. but not every USDT is backed by US, do US dollars, as we learned <laughs> recently. Yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, uh, for example, there are a big amount of crypto whales around in Korea, especially, uh, and. Uh, what you tell about the volatile of crypto assets is very pain. It's a big pain point for everyone, and uh, for them we bring the opportunity of owning the property. They could buy the the whole property for them and receive income in fiat currencies. So and also hedge their assets for the certain period of time. Of course. So, as you mentioned about the whale investors, can small-time investors benefit also benefit from your platform as well? Sure, sure. Actually, we have three main segments of our uh, potential customers. First one is institutional players who comes and bring big amount of uh, investments into real estate. Second one is crypto whales, in which we were talking previously. And the third one, and very important for us, is middle class investors. So it's people who previously have no opportunity to invest into real estate due to uh, due to issues uh, regarded to accredited, uh, uh, you should be accredited, accredited investor to buy, uh, for example, real estate investment trust uh, securities. But uh, for buy property, you should just have big amount of uh, funds to do this. Mm -hmm. And using the crowdfunding platform and our uh, legal structuring of the process, we bring uh, the opportunity uh, to buy, uh, to, to build a portfolio of uh, property, of, of property starting from 100 US dollars. And for example, for having 10,000 US dollars, you can build portfolio from different property uh, in different regions. For example, we have already tokenized property in the USA, in Japan, and European Union. You can build uh, this portfolio from these three particular locations. And further, when the platform will develop, uh, we will bring the property from your union, US, and Asia market for sure is very interesting for us. Uh, do you plan to expand your platform in Korea as well? Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, as I told, uh, Asia is one of the priority market, especially uh, in Seoul. Uh, the property market is huge and it's also developing. But again, uh, uh, we are very much focused, as, as I told, and uh, the piloting, uh, we will pilot uh, the first big uh, tokenization uh, build, uh, pro property in the UK. Mm -hmm because uh, we have the local partner there, and the UK legislation for crowdfunding is very much developed. We understand uh, how we could structure the process, how we could, we could receive the licensing for uh, trading with the property tokens there. So uh, after we make pilot in the UK, we go to the European Union and then start to expand to the Western uh, market, the US and Eastern uh, Asia. Of course, of course. Uh, so as a CEO, how do you view or what is your outlook on the current cryptocurrency market? Uh, so uh, uh, you should never do any uh, predictions for this market because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, anyway, uh, I suppose uh, that uh, for sure we will we'll have more surprises down to the road. Uh, and uh, it's very challenging time uh, for the main cryptocurrencies, a very promising time for uh, alternative coins uh, which, which are bringing new technologies. Uh, because so many interesting projects around and so many scams projects as well. Oh, yes. uh, so you should be very careful in terms of identifying your priorities. So what is your token sale plan? Uh, actually, we are going to distribute tokens for the amount of 15 million US dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this will help us to introduce the best scenario of developing of the platform. Uh, Twenty percent of uh, per, uh, uh, sixty percent of token supply goes to the public. Twenty percent goes to the network grows, and twenty percent for the team. Uh, speaking about using of proceeds for the token sale, which is very important, I suppose, because that's where all the begins. How you will develop your company. One third of these proceeds we will use, especially for uh, for uh, scaling the 
protocol, tokenization protocol distribution among our brokers, which will give us very high marketing leverage in terms of developing the platform. Then uh, another 70% goes to technology, to the platform developing, uh, and uh, another part goes to legal structuring because uh, uh, the legal part is very important. We have very strong advisor. Uh, his name is uh, Brian Megan. Uh, he is from USA. He runs uh, a law practice there. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we put very, very much support and, inv uh, and investments also mm -hmm. to make uh, the best possible solution of the legal structuring of uh, fractional ownership and protocol tokenization. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for a very insightful interview. Do you have any last comments or audience? Yeah, I would, I, I would like to say into the conclusion, I would like to quote uh, the proverb of uh, one famous uh, Eastern philosopher, which I admire. So uh, he said that uh, there are three things that never comes back. It's uh, time, words, and opportunities. So don't waste your time, shoot the words, and never miss the opportunities. And, then, uh, and that is how we build Alt Estate. Kamsa Amnida. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Vlad Schmidt, the co-founder and CEO of Alt Estate. Thank you for watching. Thank you, guys.